Hello my crafty peeps, it's Cheyenne from ecdesignstudios.com. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Now today I have a tutorial that's a little different than the cards that I usually make. We're going to be making a mini album from one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So this is pretty awesome. I do recommend you get a double-sided paper. One of the sides is going to be your cover. The other is going to be the inside, and the cover is also going to be um, the pockets, too. So that's where we're going to put tags and stuff. So things you're going to need for this album. Bone folder, tear and tape, your 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper. This is from Pop of Pink, designer series paper, and uh, it's, it's really fun. I don't know how you can see, but it's like little melon mambo dots, and then... It's just black, white, and melon mambo. It's a wonderful series. Some of it has even some like gold foiling. And you're going to need what I feel is the most important part, the stamp and trimmer. Oh, look, you can see my light bulb. Let's try to angle that away. There we go. Okay, so step number one, you're going to take your designer series paper, and I want you to turn it over to the side that you're going to want to be your cover. Now, your ends are going to fold up to create pockets on the other side. So decide right now which direction you want those pieces to be going. And this one is pretty simple. Like either way, it's going to be okay. But I actually think I want it to fold over this way. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score at two inches. And actually, do you do do? Yep, yeah, okay. So my cover's facing top. I'm going to score at two inches. Give it a nice good score. I'm going to bring out my arm. What I love about this Stampin' Trimmer is that it does go up to 14 and a half inches on the arm. All right, now I'm going to bring it over to six. I'm going to go ahead and score at six. And then I'm going to go all the way over to um, 10, and I'm going to score at 10. Line it up good. There we go. Remember to use your score tool for this. It's the lighter gray one. So I've got 2, 6, and 10 that I've scored on this side. Then turn it around 90 degrees, and here we're just going to score every 3 inches. So we're going to line it up at three, and we're going to burnish it. We're going to score it, and then we're going to score it, not burnish yet. Then we're going to go to six, and score, and then we're going to go over to nine, and score. All right, so there is our scoring. So let's set aside our trimmer for now. We're gonna need it again, so don't put it too far away. And right now, I'm just wanting to go ahead and um, burnish our score marks. So go ahead and fold over and get your bone folder and score everything. And I'm gonna try to get it going in the direction that it's supposed to be. this goes a lot of ways. So you can see, like these are is what our inside pages are going to start to look like. And on these bits, we're going to want to go ahead and burnish all of our other lines. And I'm going to go ahead and have them go both ways, just so that there's a little bit more flexibility in the paper as we're turning pages. All right, so that is that. So you can see we, we've got, you know, the beginning of a book, but there's something else that we have to do. There's more, there's more. All right, you're going to um, unfold it. You can unfold it all the way. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep those little pockets. Bring back in your stamp and trimmer. And what you're going to do is to cut up, you see you have all of the, the three inch score lines. 
you're going to cut along the six inch center one. So this piece of paper like right at the middle. So you line it up at six inches along that score line and you're going to cut through the first score mark, the second score mark, and you're going to stop at that third. So this panel here, this stays connected. So let's go ahead and do that. This is where the stamp and trimmer comes in really nice because you know you're fairly certain that all your lines are going to be straight. And you also have that little arrow there that can really line up so you know right where your blade is. So, all right, so we've got this going on now. So much fun, right? Right. All right, now comes the magic. So that was more it. So you have the inside facing outside, and then you're going to do your cross and do all of your, your fun stuff accordion fold it and everything and that's going to give you there's your covers and your all of your inside pages but you can see we've got some open flaps that we're going to have to glue down you can use your liquid glue or tear and tape it's up to you and I'm gonna give it a good burnish okay so areas that we're going to need to address this end right here, it's going to need some, some tear and tape. You can use fast fuse if you want. I'm actually just going to go onto the flap here. There we go. I know a lot of people like to use um, liquid glue for this part because um, the concern is with this tape, it's always going to be active, so you might get some of your pieces sticking. I don't know that I really find I have an issue with that, so I don't really work worry about it. So we've got our two edges. I'm just going to go ahead and seal those up like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side here. Just put it on the two edges. What I love about the tear and tape is it's a strong adhesive that you can tear. You don't have to get out your scissors to cut it. I'm just going to accordion fold in either side and now there's this middle section here that's wide open to the world. So if you were to do that, like it's this flap here, you want to make sure that that is all taped or glued down so we don't get any fun surprises. I'm just going to get some of the tear and tape around. Fast Fuse would work on this as well. Alright, so our book's holding together a little bit better now, but it's still kind of open and flapping in the wind. So there's a couple of different solutions for your book binding here at the end. You can use just washi tape, and that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use some of the Pop of Pink washi. Let me grab that. I've got them on this cool little thing along with some of my other favorite washies. So I think I'm just going to use this, yeah, do, 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 probably both of these. So I'm going to start out with a strip of this one here with the little diamonds on it. Go down the edge of it, lasso, and then I'm just going to fold it over. If you're concerned about your washi tape holding up, you can absolutely add some liquid glue to it. I actually think that's what I'm going to do because I do find washi to not be quite as reliable as I'd like it to be. So let me go ahead and do that. So this is just the um, Tombow liquid glue.
There we go. So that is our first step. And now I'm just going to take different strips of this and I'm going to put on another one. I think, yeah, I'm going to go with this one because I do feel like it kind of matches, matches the inside a little bit. And that was not long enough, so I'll just pop that one over there and let's try that again. All right, so that is our mini book album. All right, so that is it for today's tutorial on our mini album made from one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So you've got all of these little pages with pockets so you can decorate it out however you want. You could go ahead and adhere all of that down if you want or not. Um, you could just um, make tags to stick in here. You can go ahead and print out your photos and just have them stuck in there. You can decorate it however you want it to be. But that is the basics of our little albums. Isn't that just so cute? And it's so easy to just go ahead and toss it into your purse and everything just to get some nice fun stuff and it's fun for people to flip through. The washi tape is flexible so as long as you've got that glue on there it'll be fantastic. Go ahead and decorate your front as you want to and um, you can see it kind of pops up. You can make a belly band to go around it or you can do like I do and I just leave it overnight with an acrylic block on it and that helps to flatten it out a little bit better. It's still always going to be a little more pop being open because that's just the nature of, of books for the most part. So, all right, um, I will be doing uh, some more tutorials on how I go ahead and decorate this, but you're going to have to stay tuned to the, the next video to see. Oh, all right, so thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, remember, a full list of the products that I used can be found on uh, in the description bar along with links to the coordinating blog posts and my online store. You can shop there 24-7 and you can get everything I use to make this from my online store. Yes, yes. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are in the description bar as well. And uh, there'll probably be sneak peeks on how I'm decorating this on Instagram. On um, Facebook, I've been doing Facebook Lives on Friday around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern time and uh, so feel free to head on over there and start following me and so you can craft along with me and my kiddos usually with me so that's a lot of fun oh all right until next time happy crafting bye